We've already discussed the most advanced new developments in the realm of internal combustion engines, including the one-cycle Rex engine, Toyota's W piston, or the uniquely shaped piston that can increase the efficiency of diesel engines by up to 50%. These technologies could breathe new life into the internal combustion engine. However, electric vehicles are not standing still, and today, we will talk about two of the most advanced developments in the field of electric motors. These developments could increase their already significant power and reduce their weight, as well as a development that could allow Tesla and other electric vehicle manufacturers to make electric cars cheaper and lighter than internal combustion engine vehicles. So, let's dive into how this works. It's going to be fascinating, let's get started. Electric motors can be categorized by several criteria, including synchronous and asynchronous types. In a synchronous motor, the rotation of the rotor is completely in sync with the rotation of the magnetic field in the stator. In contrast, in an asynchronous motor, the rotor's rotation speed is slightly lower than that of the stator's magnetic field, causing the rotor to perpetually try to catch up. Synchronous motors are generally a bit more efficient, but asynchronous motors have a simpler design and are, therefore, cheaper. Electric motors are also often divided into radial and axial types. In radial motors, the magnetic flux is perpendicular to the axis of rotation, meaning the stator is shaped like a donut with a rotor in the middle. In an axial flow motor, the magnetic lines of force run parallel to the axis of rotation. I think the difference is clear. Not long ago, Koenigsegg presented an updated Koenigsegg Gemera, where they managed to fit a very powerful V8 engine and a 13-clutch system into a four-seater car, enabling an all-wheel drive system and featuring a unique transmission. But beyond these innovations, this car is equipped with the world's most powerful electric motor, known as Dark Matter. Weighing 38 kilograms, it delivers 815 horsepower. This means that an electric motor, with the size and weight of a clutch in a car with a manual transmission, has a phenomenal power-to-weight ratio. For comparison, in the Tesla Plaid, one electric motor with an inverter weighs 90 kilograms and delivers 320 horsepower. Here, the entire system, including the inverter, weighs between 50 to 53 kilograms and delivers 815 horsepower. The Koenigsegg system is four times more efficient in terms of power-to-weight ratio. This was achieved by combining axial and radial magnetic flux structures in a single motor, which Koenigsegg refers to as a raxial motor. This means that the magnetic fluxes are directed both parallel and perpendicular to each other. Additionally, unlike typical motors that have only three phases, this motor has six, or more likely, two sets of three. This helps in more accurately controlling torque and is also necessary for heat distribution, as with 850 volts and 600 kilowatts of power, it would require 750 amperes. Theoretically, with such an electric motor and inverter, along with 14 kilowatt-hour battery packs, Koenigsegg could create an electric vehicle with four electric motors, one on each wheel, delivering a total of 3,260 horsepower, which is phenomenal. But let's shift our focus from the realm of the most powerful motors to the sphere of mass consumption and explore some interesting developments there. Electric vehicle manufacturers are striving to reduce the costs of their vehicles. Although electric motors are not the most expensive part of an electric car, they still account for a significant portion of the cost. The most expensive components in electric motors are rare earth metals, most of which are supplied by China. For example, China is the supplier of neodymium and dysprosium in 97% of cases, and since 2012, China has tightly controlled these supplies, leading to price fluctuations that could exceed 1,000%, which, of course, affects the cost of electric motors. In response to sanctions on semiconductors in 2023, China introduced restrictions on the supplies of gallium and germanium. Therefore, automakers are concerned that costs could significantly increase, and they are trying to reduce their dependency on expensive elements. To produce its future electric car priced at just $25,000, Tesla has stated that one of the ways they can achieve this is by manufacturing electric motors without using expensive rare earth metals. While Tesla has not disclosed details of its developments, the German company ZF, known for producing some of the best automatic transmissions, introduced its I2SM electric motor without magnets and without any expensive metals at all. They claim these motors are not only as efficient as before but have even improved, but more on that later. Another German company, Mayhol, is also developing a similar motor. 
As mentioned earlier, synchronous electric motors based on magnets have the highest efficiency but contain a large amount of rare earth metals. Therefore, ZF has found a way to eliminate magnets and no longer use rare earth metals, which will make the motors cheaper and eliminate dependence on suppliers. In many cases, it will eliminate dependence altogether, allowing everything to be produced domestically, with the added benefit of saving on shipping. To achieve this, they removed the magnets from the rotor and replaced them with copper windings. To create a magnetic field, an electric current is fed into these windings. Instead of brushes or sliding contacts, an inductive method is used to transfer current to the rotating rotor. This involves a small transformer located on the axis that transmits energy to the rotor winding. To make it clearer, it's like charging a phone. You can use a wire, which means using contact, or you can use wireless charging, which is the inductive method. Yes, there are additional energy transfer losses with the inductive method, but this is compensated by the reduced friction. Secondly, the diameter of the rotor was reduced by 90 mm, allowing for higher rotations and increasing efficiency at high constant speeds while also reducing weight. For example, in the Tesla Plaid, to spin the rotor beyond 20,000 revolutions per minute without it tearing apart from centrifugal force, a small carbon fiber frame is placed over it to contain it. Thus, this solution simultaneously increased the power to weight and size ratio of the engine, reduced costs, and perhaps most importantly, eliminated dependency on supplies from China. Synchronous motors produced by ZF currently with magnets have a peak efficiency of 96% and an average efficiency of 93% according to the European WLTC cycle. As they claim that peak efficiency remains at the same level but with increased efficiency in some scenarios, such as highway driving, it is likely that the average efficiency will be over 93%. ZF plans to start mass production in 2025 to 2026, the same year Tesla will make its most budget-friendly electric car. These developments open up great potential for electric transport, which will allow for reduced weight, cost, and improved efficiency. From my observations, electric vehicles have already caught up with internal combustion engine vehicles in terms of weight, and with the introduction of new electric motors and battery packs in a few years, they will confidently become lighter. Let us know your thoughts on these electric motors in the comments below. Your likes really support our channel, so don't forget to hit that like button. And make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.